What's up, everybody? This is Jesus from Everything Nerdy Assemble here on YouTube. And today, I will be telling you guys about this game called Atomic Heart. Check out this gameplay. I wanted to show you guys this game because I'm very excited for its release. It was supposed to release by the end of 2018. Got pushed to 2019 has no set release date that I know of and it looks twisted it reminds me of Bioshock but even a crazier Bioshock check it out guys I truly love the look of this game, the look of the world itself. And this game is in fact releasing on consoles. PlayStation 4 is the only one that I'm actually sure of. It was posted on the PlayStation blog. And that's the first time I've seen this game. I'm hoping it releases... at an early time this year because I can't wait to play this game it looks amazing It has great sound design also. And look at those graphics. They look truly amazing. And they look pretty realistic. Honestly, they're some of the best graphics I've seen this generation. Just look at all that detail.
Wow. Even the combat looks amazing. I mean, guys, have you seen a game that looks this amazing graphically on consoles? Post in the comments below if you've seen a game that looks this amazing, this detailed, this realistic. It truly looks like it's reality. It doesn't look like a game. Shout out to IGN for posting this 10 minute gameplay. Post your thoughts on the gameplay in the comments below. Tell me your thoughts on this game. To me it looks incredible graphics wise, sound wise, and level design wise. Like I never seen a game in my life that looks this crazy. It looks crazier than Bioshock, and I love Bioshock so much. And this is the first time I've seen the gameplay. And it's blowing my mind. And there is no set price for this game and no release date. But you better believe that once it is, once it has a set date and a set price, I will definitely be talking about it on the podcast. And of course, new game releases video that I post weekly. I can't believe the game looks that amazing. And on top of that, I don't know who this who this studio is. I never heard of them. But I'm blown away by what they have created. You know, my first thought when I seen this game, I was thinking, okay, it's a unknown studio. Could it be like the PT situation where in fact this is the next Bioshock but it's named Atomic Heart and they're just trying to trick us? It could still be possible, we'll see. But look how amazing this game looks. I mean, it's a, it's a world that you could definitely get lost in. And i never seen a world, even in movies, that looks this crazy. It's truly unlike anything i ever seen. But you could tell it was inspired by Bioshock. 
and that other game, uh, System Shock. And what's even crazier, this is pre-alpha footage. It's not even final. Oh my, that looks amazing. If you enjoy the video, please hit that like and subscribe to the channel. I'm out. Peace. Now that you have seen the gameplay, here's a synopsis on the game. Atomic Heart is an action RPG game. The story is about all the things that could have happened in the reality of the USSR, but didn't. Technical revolution has already occurred. Robots, the internet, holograms have already been invented. But all these innovations are immersed in the atmosphere of communism, imperialism, and conf confrontation with the West. The protagonist of the game is a Soviet KJB officer and his party sends him to the facility 3826 and are waiting for the report. The world of the game consists of several regions and open parts of the surface with different biomes. It has a multi-level structure with surface and underground abandoned departments of the facility. The combat system, in ordinary non-PVP regions, encourages the use of melee weaponry, while in PvP areas we give players more freedom and don't limit the use of the firearms. Most of the enemies are a variety of combat vehicles produced at the factory. Each robot was originally made to serve the needs of the Soviet industry or to help Soviet citizens in a daily life. The robots are implemented with a combat program that should be activated in case of a war. Now here's some of the quotes the gaming industry is saying about this game. IGN says, coolest, coolest trailer of the year. Game Byte, Atomic Card looks amazing, which I agree. PC Gamer, Russian developer Monfish quietly released the first trailer for Soviet area shooter Atomic Card last week and it drew a crowd almost immediately. Poly Polygon, the game looks like someone scrapped Bioshock Fallout and Metro 2033 for parts, while also looking like its own bizarre thing. Flying drones and undead enemies intermingle with clown robots and some sort of fluid tentacle creature. The trailer hints at horrors and secrets without showing all its cards. There's going to be a digital version, which includes the full game, the soundtrack, behind the scenes video, digital art book. I have no idea why the letters I grayed out. If you pre-order now, you receive three day head start to access the full game before launch, access to the beta version in Q4 2019. There's a deluxe version, Founders Edition, and it's releasing on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Steam, post in the comments below your thoughts on the gameplay, the synopsis, anything about the game tell me if you're excited and you're looking forward to it like i am i am very very fucking excited for this game